Presidential politics. Mitt Romney is ready to run. Sarah Palin's ready to ride. CBS News political analyst John Dickerson is following it all. John, good evening. Good evening, Harry. The slow-starting Republican race is picking up. Mitt Romney will make it official in New Hampshire next week. Today, he was in Iowa. He said the president's policies have failed on the economy, which is his principal campaign message. The political question in Iowa is how hard will Romney campaign there? He hasn't been in the state in seven months, and the high concentration of evangelical voters are not his natural constituency. He's got to strike a balance, campaign hard enough to avoid a big loss in the party's first contest, but not risk so much time and money that he neglects other states where he has a better chance. Now, he was also asked about the House Budget Chairman Paul Ryan's Medicare plan. Did he endorse it? Not exactly. The, the Ryan plan offers those on Medicare a fixed amount to buy insurance. That's a major change, and it's become the first political puzzle for Republican candidates in this cycle. They have to show solidarity with Ryan and House Republicans without deeply committing themselves to something that might end up being politically unpopular. So Romney said he liked the general thrust of Ryan's plan, but wouldn't commit to it, saying only that he'll have his own plan for Medicare. And Sarah Palin, of course, has shaken things up. She starts her bus tour over the uh, weekend. How long can she keep people guessing? Well, her spokesman says we shouldn't jump to any conclusions, but with this bus tour and now a new campaign style video, she sure looks like she's a candidate. In theory, Palin can wait until the fall before she has to file formally to be on any ballot. Until then, she benefits in a way really that no other candidate does. She can push her ideas, test the support for her candidacy, and build her image without risking anything. When she does make her decision, it's likely to follow the Palin playbook. It will be a secret until it's announced. John Dickerson in Washington tonight. Thank you.